consistently food choices, trading choices, social choices. Those are the guys that succeed. You know, the guys he keeps mentioning, Dave Taylor Burroughs, who's the other person you kept lumping in there? I said, I said Ruth, I don't know who else. Other Dave Taylor Bur Burroughs, Ruth. All them guys, they live clean lives. They stay out of trouble, and they're, they're good citizens. It's important. <laughs> it's just, it's just what I'm thinking think about. If you're, if you're making bad decisions, you're, you're just, you're fighting yourself. You know, you're gonna, you're not hurting, you're not hurting anyone but yourself. You might think, well, my parents say not to do this, so I'm gonna do this, so then it's like, ha ha, I got them. You're only getting yourself. You're hurting yourself, just remember that. You know, I mean, my friends, almost all my friends in the team, they probably drank, I didn't, I didn't go to any parties in high school. I mean, I'm not saying you have to be like that, but me, I went to maybe two. I can remember a Super Bowl party I went to with a girlfriend. I think after one match, we went to a friend's house for a little bit. I mean, and I'm, I'm being honest, I'm serious, because, you know, that was my life. That's what you have to understand, wrestling was my life. And I mean, that's, that's what it is. I, you know, I'm not the most talented person, but I'm very goal-oriented, and I said, I'm gonna do everything that I can to control. Everything I can control, I'm going to. So, and my brothers too. You know, Greg has never had al alcohol in his life, ever. You know, I, me and Jeff never had anything s until we were like 21, definitely. And I mean, you think I'm joking around, I'm not, you know. I would never, I'd never try a cigarette or try anything like that because how's that going to help me? Even now, like I'm trying to be in the best shape. I'm trying to be in the best shape out of my brothers. Those guys are two studs right there. So guess what? If I'm doing any of that stuff, they're going to. I mean, they're so, you know they're already past me in some areas. So I mean, you know, you just never want you just never want to go backwards. You're even move, you're either moving towards your goals or away from your goals. Just think about it like that. Every action you take, your goal di dictates your behavior. I'll say it again, your goal dictates your behavior. Your goal dictates your behavior. So here's a choice that's in front of me. Is this gonna move me towards my goals or away from my goals? There it is. Keep it simple, you know? Is, it doesn't really matter what your friends are doing. Be the one out of 10. I always tell wrestlers this. Every wrestler I talk to one-on-one, -on -one, I say, nine out of 10 people are gonna do this. You need to have the courage to be the one in 10 that does that. I don't care about your friends, even people on your team, even wrestlers you see, oh, this wrestler smokes and this wrestler drinks, you know? Well, how's it gonna affect them a year down the line, two years down the line, three years down the line? Because I've seen it. I've seen those wrestlers, those guys who party real hard, and you know, they, they might be studs, they might be wrestling real well, they get passed up by the guy who keeps focused, and the guy who keeps going. They get passed up. Make good decisions. You make good decisions, you put yourself in a position to win. You put yourself in the position of being a champion by every decision you make. Is this moving me towards my goals or away from my goals? So you say, hey, it's nighttime. I did my workouts. You know, what's the big deal if I go drink right now? Well, the big deal is then tomorrow when you should be working out, you're going to feel like crap. All right? You're, you're going to feel like absolute hell. I've seen guys in our practice room. They wrestle. They have a hangover. And you know what? They feel like crap. They're, they're laying down. They're not working hard. And I just got a day better than them. You know, thanks. I didn't even have to do anything there. I just showed up and did what I normally do. And now I just stepped ahead of them. And that's what you do, just keep making good decisions. Be the one in 10. Nine out of 10 guys are gonna focus on winning and losing. You be the one in 10 that's gonna focus on your effort and your attitude. Nine out of 10 guys are gonna be looking in the paper. What's this person ranked? This guy beat that guy, looking at the box scores. You're gonna be the one in 10 who says, I don't care about that because this is just live wrestling. Live wrestling is live wrestling, whether it's here, in practice, in the States, in the Nationals, it doesn't matter. Live is live. Nine out of ten guys are going to say, yeah, you know, drink a couple, you know, party, everyone does, who cares. One out of ten guys is going to say, no, I'm not going to do that, this is what I'm trying to accomplish. I'll have my fun, but without that kind of stuff. Make good decisions, you know, be fanatical, that's why we say it, that's why we have those our wristbands, we have your shirts here and stuff. You know, it's just, I, I like to wear my wristband just as a reminder of myself that I live fanatical. Days I don't feel like doing my workout, I, you always have days you don't feel like working out. No, no, fanatical, I got it right here. I got it right here on my shirt, I'm fanatical. That's what I'm aspiring to. My friends, they're not. That's why I surpassed them. I tell it so many times, I, I say, you know, there's at least, I'd say there's at least, you know, a dozen, maybe two dozen kids in my high school that could have been better wrestlers than me. At, you know, at least a dozen, probably two dozen. But the reason why they weren't is just because I was fanatical and they weren't. So, so period. You know, use maximize all your ability. I'm kind of running on here, but.